Okay, here I have a beaker of water. With two, a large and a small orifice. This is a four millimeter and this is 0.5 millimeter. And over here is your uh, mass flow controller control panel. You can see I have the smaller one, which is MSCA, is set for five, and MSCB is set for 14. I'll close that out. And we also have a temp temperature probe in there, and we're reading 21 degrees C. And what I'm going to do here now is just do a measure, and I'll show the signals. So. Panel here that shows the voltage of either channel. Channel one is the temperature, channel two is the pressure transducer. And what it's reading here is the surface tension of 72.7 for water, which is the standard. And here you can also see the uh, bubble frequency set at 1.36. Okay, I'm going to stop this test here, and I'm going to switch over to isopropyl alcohol. This is a beaker fill filled with isopropyl. Okay, and again, we're here, we'll just do another measure on it. And when that's trouble, we're getting a surface tension of 20.2. So you see the surface tension is different, the difference between the water and the isopropyl alcohol. Again, here's your MFC controller panel. Bring that up, and in here you can change your uh, flow rates, which will change your bubble frequency. Here I can close them both. So now they're both at zero. See no bubbles coming out, and the other thing you can do is you can purge it, and that'll bring them both to 100 percent. You see MSCA is the smaller one, it's moving to 100 percent, which is fully open. Now one thing to note is that uh, this should be lifted up like this so that you get airflow through the box. There's a vent in the bottom and up top and it's just convection flow through the box to pull the electronics. Very important, otherwise you get shifting of your uh, readings because of the heat that's uh, built up inside the box. So it's very important to have this lifted. Okay, and then from here I'm just going to set them back to where they were. I had uh, five. MFCA was set at 5, I can just type that in, and I think this was at 14, and I can set. Let's adjust an MFCA, use the smaller orifice. Okay, right, what we did here is we put on the other uh, potentiometer to 6,000, which has the uh, adjustment for the orifices in, in the front right here using needle valves. 
again, it's the same software here, except for, you see the MFCs down here, that's just from the, uh, the previous test. They're actually not, there's no control for that here. I mean, it pops up, but it, it won't control anything here, because there are no MFCs in this box. Again, you hit the measure. Here we have water, we're measuring roughly 72.7. What I'll do is change out the water to the alcohol, just to see that there is a difference in the readings. And you can see this, the sawtooth uh, wave is smaller here with the alcohol. And we're getting a reading of 17.3, just to show the difference. There is a calibration routine that's explained in the manual. Uh, anytime any changes are made in either the bubble frequency or the uh, zero and span of the wave, you need to recalibrate. The low being the alcohol and the high being the water. But I didn't do the calibration here. We're just saying that there is a change that the uh, alcohol has a, a surface tension reading that's different than the water. Again, you can uh, calibrate the uh, temperature too. That's that's explained in the manual. You have to do a low and a high for the temperature. I'm just running it to show that it's giving you a reading. You have control. Um, I'll show you the bubble frequency changing. Make you change your on the crease the flows. I was at one, now we're at five on the bubble frequency. Now it's adjusting MFCB. Close that out. And we'll do a measure again. And you can see the sawtooth wave that's generated. And the red line here is the temperature. get the surface tension of 19.2. Lift it out. I'll check the water again. 